Echocardiography, also known as an echo, is a diagnostic test that uses sound waves to create images of the heart. It provides valuable information about the structure and function of the heart and can help detect abnormalities associated with pulmonary embolism PE. Here are some echo findings that may be seen in patients with PE. 1. Right ventricular RV dysfunction. PE can cause increased pressure in the pulmonary arteries, leading to strain on the right side of the heart. Echocardiography may reveal signs of right ventricular dysfunction, such as dilation and reduced contraction of the right ventricle. The septum, which separates the right and left ventricles, may also appear flattened or bowing into the left ventricle due to increased RV pressure. 2. Pulmonary Artery Hypertension PE can result in increased pressure in the pulmonary arteries, known as pulmonary artery hypertension. Echocardiography can estimate the pulmonary artery systolic pressure by measuring the velocity of tricuspid regurgitation flow and calculating the pressure gradient between the right ventricle and right atrium. 3. McConnell's Sign McConnell's sign is a characteristic finding in PE where there is a kinesia lack of movement or dyskinesia paradoxical movement of the mid-free wall of the right ventricle, while the apex of the right ventricle contracts normally. This finding is highly specific for acute PE but may not always be present. 4. Assessment of left ventricular function Echocardiography can also evaluate the function of the left ventricle, the main pumping chamber of the heart. It helps determine if there is any compromise in left ventricular function, which may occur as a result of the increased strain on the right side of the heart. It's important to note that while echocardiography can provide valuable information, it is not a definitive diagnostic test for PE. Other imaging modalities, such as computed tomography pulmonary angiography CTPA, are typically used to confirm the diagnosis. The interpretation of echocardiography findings should be done in conjunction with clinical assessment, laboratory tests, and other diagnostic imaging studies to establish a comprehensive diagnosis and guide appropriate management. Thank you.